So how's everybody doing? It's Bias Political Agenda and I'm back and I'm kind of making like a, a vlog video style video and you know I'm kind of clarifying some of the points that I made in my last video uh, about Sargon and, and Thunderfoot and the whole uh, what feminist guy shooting his girlfriend when he was high off his shrooms and then a bunch of the, rash the rational skeptics uh, going into a hangout and uh, laughing about it. I will say this, um, and I'm I'm I on a personal matter. I'm glad that that uh, Thunderfoot has kind of given up on you know making videos on this topic. He's kind of gone back to what he usually does. Um, and I I don't think it was really 100% warranted for him to kind of go after Sargon because. Sargon really didn't do anything wrong. Now, I know that Sargon said that he holds his his rational skeptic community to a to a different, you know, level compared to everyone else. You know, he expects more from those kinds of people. I, I, I completely understand where he's coming from in that aspect. But here's the thing, right? Your guys were sitting in a chat room... And they were making fun of a situation that didn't that didn't need to be made fun of. Now, I'm not personally insulted by what they said. I believe in freedom of speech. It, you know, you could say screwed up things and I'd be upset about that, but there's nothing that I can do. There's nothing that anybody in that community, anyone can do about it. You know, they weren't breaking any rules or guidelines. Is it hate speech? I don't know. I don't know what hate speech is these days. Here's the thing. I, do, I still don't agree with Thunderfoot going after Sargon. And Sargon, I don't like Sargon. I like Thunderfoot more than Sargon. Sargon has every right to defend himself. But here's the thing, Sargon. Thunderfoot did not edit your clips together to make it sound like you were laughing at the jokes. It's 100% true. You did laugh at the jokes. I think you should come out and you should admit it, right? Be a man for once and admit it. I think the reason why Thunderfoot made the video that he made on one point was because he wanted to get out of the skeptic community and needed a reason to do so. I also think it's because, you know, he lost his dad and it's really screwed up that he did that, that all those uh, social justice warrior, feminist, like, laughing witch, Jenny McDermott. You should never go full Kevin Logan. Um, they all made fun of him for that. I even think that, that the, that the ooh, ooh, ah, ah, bewildered ape, the poo, fecal matter licking ape, decided to go after uh, the whole situation as well. Which was screwed up too, because he he came out and and said and and accused Thunderfoot of lying about his dad uh, dying, using his dad's death as a way to be a a victim to show victimhood. It was really screwed up, and most of these rational skeptics v uh, sounds like there's a zoo in his mouth. You know, <laughs> you hear the parrots, you hear. Uh, the minxes you hear, the wild cats. I'm I'm halfway expecting an elephant to come out of his mouth. And uh, even what's his name, Crouton T. They <laughs> at the time they were going after these feminists for doing for doing that for saying that, and, and now you know you're you're doing the exact same thing. I think I think that. The video that Thunderfoot should have made should have been going potentially, partially, not partially, but as a whole, should have been going after those two. Because those two were making the jokes, you know? It wasn't Sargon. Sar Sargon did laugh. Sargon did kind of giggle. But I can, I can take that and, and say to myself, well... That wasn't as bad as what the other guys did, which it wasn't. I I sympathize with Thunderfoot over the fact that his dad died. I sympathize 
with with that. I think he took. I didn't think he took it out of context. I think that you know, due to his what happened in his past, and due to the way that people treated him in the past, the the feminists did, it, it triggered him. It 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 triggered a memory and it, it 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 made him sad, and that's a human emotion. You know, you can't control human emotions. So I will say that he does need to take criticism for blaming Sargon, which, as much as Sargon claims that he wants to control people, he can't control people. I don't like Sargon, but Sargon is not guilty in this situation, right? The people who are guilty in this situation are Zoo Animal V and Crouton T. Those are the two, right? And it's funny when you go to any of Thunderfoot's videos, everyone's like, oh, you took him out of context. Well, he could have taken him out of context, but I don't, I, I personally don't believe that he was doing it on purpose, that he was doing it with any malice. You know, I think he did it. I think it triggered something in him. And I think that he's using that in order to be the reason why he's not in the skeptic community. Now, should he have made three videos for why he didn't want to be in the skeptic community? No. He shouldn't have even made one. He shouldn't have. Because the skeptic community, rationally skeptic, no. There's no skepticism in, in the skeptic community. Just a bunch of people who bash feminists and social justice warriors. To me, you know, that was so, so two years ago. That was so two or three years ago. That that stuff doesn't even shouldn't even matter anymore. Nobody. That's like a it's a it was like a phase back then to make fun of feminists and say oh you know that's what all feminists are, but it's not because I've stepped in the real world and I don't live my life on the internet, like like Zoo Animal V and Crouton T do. So that's all I have. This is biased political agenda. Uh, do my vlog style videos looking after my new dog peace